What's happening? I just got done interviewing Gazinfer Mansur. He is a fellow member of the Entrepreneurs Organization out of Reston, Virginia, which is the suburbs of Washington, D.C. And he runs a technology company, a software company named Technology Rivers. And we were talking about a lot of different things. You know, I used to be in the software business and Array Digital was actually founded to build software and a lot of mobile apps. And then over a very quick amount of time, at the very beginning of our uh, foundation, when we were founding the company, we decided to switch and totally pivot to digital marketing, which we've been doing the last four years. But my background is actually in software development. So I had a lot in common with my guests and we talked a lot about software projects. But you know, one of the things that we talked about was delivering projects on time. It's extremely important to deliver projects on time. And I've been challenged in the past by this. Well, Gazinfer actually claims that that most of his projects, not all of them are on time and on budget, which is amazing. So check out this snippet from the interview. It was about a 20 minute interview. It's up on our YouTube. It's up on my social medias as well, at I am Eric J. Olson across the board on social media. You can see the whole thing there if you'd like. But this snippet is about the importance of delivering projects to your clients on time. In the last six years, I can say that we, uh, we have not gone over budget on any single project. We didn't go over in terms of timing on every, any single project that we did for a fixed price. That's uh, a pretty big accomplishment, right? It is, uh, and especially in this era, uh, in this dev world where you hear commonly, yeah. oh, it's common the developers give estimate that doesn't fulfill. We don't see that. Yeah, yeah. That's, <clears throat> excuse me. That's uh, very uncommon. So my, my background was software development and for the first many years of our business, uh, we, we were constantly late and uh, I actually created a, a core value uh, to be on time because the, uh, the goal was to stop being late. Um, never mind doing it in advance of when, you know, that we promised. I just wanted to not be late anymore. And, and that was a significantly difficult thing to achieve. And, you know, with, with software, what I found is that uh, software developers, um, uh, it, there's generally a culture where um, it's okay to be late. It's expected to be late. And there's rationalizations for why it's late. Oh, no one's ever built this before. So how could you know how long it's going to take? But when you compare it to other engineering projects, if you consider software development like engineering, um, no one's ever built, you know, the skyscraper that's about to go up, you know, in New York City or whatever. Um, but there's a significant amount of planning that goes into that. And with software, for some reason, most clients don't feel like it necessitates the planning. They just want to jump in and do it and start paying for it. And so the planning, it seems to me, gets skipped and we go right into execution. Is that kind of the experience that you've had as well? Oh, absolutely. And this is the core reason of failure of many of these projects. So, and you articulated really well. So if you just jump in, there's no way. So when we even say uh, doing uh, the project that's done on time, you still have to define the scope. Because when we work with a customer, they come in and they have a big vision. And that's right. You want to have. So what we do is we spend time, we understand their vision so that we could build something that we could build according to the vision. So one of the analogies that I commonly use is say, well, you're building, uh, your vision is building a mansion, but you don't have a money for mansion. You only have a money for this smaller piece that could be more like a studio type where you only have a room, um, kitchen, bathroom, and something to live. So we will help you build a strong foundation. We build it and then gradually expand it. But what they get on many other places is they build a small one, which is the same understanding that oh, we are building MVP. But if you miss the bathroom or kitchen, it's not launchable. So our motto is like from day one, we will help you create the version one or MVP thin, but it's something that's launchable, not something that is just to demo, because if it's not going in front of the customer, yeah. you're not going to get a feedback. If you're not going to get a feedback, you're going to keep building. And we have seen so many cases where you keep building, 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 and it's never launched. 
Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, how to launch a seven-figure business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, to growing a million-dollar business. It took me eight years, and I made a lot of mistakes. And all of those mistakes, and more importantly, lessons learned, are in this book. And we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.